Sam Diep here with Inside Pool Extreme News coming to you from the Horseshoe Casino for the 11th Annual Derby City Classic. Joining me is Hennessy from Tennessee, originally also known as Jonathan Penninger. Um, you are currently in Alabama though, right? Yes. Yeah, for right now. It's a pretty good spot for me. I uh, get to gamble a lot. Um, plus they have diamond knifers the same as they have here, so it's good for me. Murfreesboro they don't have, they have Brunswick, so it's a little bit different, so. Okay, so you're in diamond, diamond neck of the woods. Yeah. Um, you just won your first match in the bank pool. I, it looked like you were struggling a little bit. I heard you say that the cloth was sliding a little bit. This new cloth was affecting you. Yeah, it's uh, you've got to use more straight, straight English on it, or you'll it'll throw it way long. Everything's going way long, so it's a little bit different. Okay. Well, you're just coming off a pretty big win here. Um, the Music City. Um, Champ open. open, I'm sorry. And um, how how did you feel like you played in that tournament? I played uh, probably the best I've played in a, probably about six months. I've been out uh, on the road playing in the Florida Pro Tour tournament, uh, just putting my dues in. So it's time for me to maybe start winning. Well, you're actually starting to reap some of the benefits now. You've paid a lot of dues, and you're winning a lot of these events. You're, you've had a great 2008, wouldn't you say? I've got a, a bunch of top fives. Uh, trying to get my mental game a little better, too, so I don't get mad as easy. That helps out a lot. What would you say your best game is? Uh, probably nine ball on the bar table. Nine ball on the bar table and uh, uh, just my bar table game. How do you like your chances in the bank pool? Uh, I'm just hoping to survive. I mean, if I get in the top 20, I'll be happy. Uh, I don't play uh, bank pool that much, so um, can't right. really set yourself a high goal. Okay. Well, I have a question for you. It's kind of a personal question. A lot of players at home may or may not know this, but you're missing some fingers on your your stroke hand, right? Yeah. The last is it the last three the last fingers? Two on my right hand. Yeah, I was uh, three years old and I stuck my hand in a light socket and electrocuted me. Actually, and electrocuted you. Yeah, I had a, a fork fork in my hand and it electrocuted me and melted them. And it had to take skin off my leg and put on my hand and. Do you feel like that's been an advantage in your pool stroke? People say it is. People say it's probably an advantage, but uh, I don't know. That's why I've always had to deal with it. So um, it's the very first patient in the burn center at Vanderbilt. They have a big article read up, right, read up and uh, everything. So. All right. It's kind of cool. We'll look for that. That was a long time ago, though. But, And then also, another thing I want to ask you about is your headphones. We've been seeing you with your headphones at every tournament nowadays. Do you feel like you've been a little uh, dependent on that, become a little dependent on that? Well, I just uh, wear them, like I said, to just muffle out all the noise and stuff to where I don't pay no attention to it because I wander off a little bit. So I have to, yeah, you're probably, yeah, a when, little bit. When's the last event that you played without your headphones? U.S. Open. How did Fair too good. Well, actually, they have a rule here where if you're uh, for any of the matches, you're allowed to wear your headphones, but except, except for the TV. Team. Right. So I can play without it. It's just I'd rather play with it that way. I don't hear anything. But well, what kind of uh, music are we? Is on your playlist? I listen to Kanye West and uh, Akon. Uh, it's about all. Just maybe it, like Snoop. Every night. I see you kind of changing the music a little bit. Does it depend on how the tournament is going, or what mood you're? What you're mood I'm in. If I feel like, if I feel like I'm wanting to start running out, then I put on an upbeat, you know, to pump you up. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know you've got an AccuStats video out. If players at home wanna wanna watch you play, um, you've got some tar videos that'll that will be coming out soon, hopefully. Yeah. Um, any other sponsors sponsors you wanna mention? Yeah, uh, Pat Davini Custom Cues. Uh, they've been sponsoring for about two years now, so maybe in the next year or two we'll start making a line of cues. But right now, Neil Hayes is a sponsor, and uh, Hustling Clothing. He he helps me out with the clothes and. Uh, they have been doing me pretty good too. So. Okay. Oh, one more thing I want to ask you. It looked like you were kind of sore or stretching a little bit. What, after something like after the tournament at Jobs, I went to the mall, Opry Mills in Nashville, and uh, got a massage, and like they hurt my back, man. It's it's unreal. <laughs> Is that the first mas? Yeah. Is that the first massage you ever got? No, from these people, yeah. But I mean, it was they was rough. All right. So. So pretty sore. 
Don't get a massage before a big tournament no. from a place you're, you don't no. trust. Like back of my arms and back of my shoulder blades. Just stealth, real stealth. Well, we hope you uh, loosen up before your next match. Me too. Right. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Again, Jonathan Pinninger, also known as Hennessy, with me, Sam Diep, at the Derby City Classic. Make sure you tune into InsidePoolMag.com for more great videos. Take care.